Hey, what's up, guys? This is Darth9, and you're watching a Modern Warfare 3 free for all on Dome. As you can see, I'll be using the L11 8A, which is my first choice for a sniper rifle in free for all because the mobility is higher than all the other sniper rifles, and I actually still put the speed proficiency on it as I do with all my sniper rifles because I just think that uh, movement speed is that important. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually joined this game late. And when you join a free-for-all late, it puts you at a bit of a disadvantage because you're not really accustomed to the lobby and you don't know how the enemies are going to play. You don't know how aggressive the enemies are going to be or if they're going to be really passive. So, uh, it takes me a while to really get the feel of the lobby. And once I do, I start to build up a bit of momentum, get a kill streak going, and I actually end the game pretty quickly. So, because I joined late, I think that can account for my two deaths early on in this match. I actually end up going 30-2 and two though, so obviously I didn't die anymore after that, and for the rest of this game I won't die anymore. Um, now Dome, I didn't really have a strategy for this map going in, but uh, by the end of the game I did have a bit of a strategy, and I'll point that out to you in a minute. I'm just about to go over to my location that I like to stick around. So that tank right there, um, that tank that I'm at right now, that's where I kind of like to stick around. That's kind of where I like to come back to after I venture off for half a second there. Um, now the reason I like this tank so much is because you can observe a lot of different angles where the enemies are going to be coming from. And as you can see there, I, I, I laid down on my stomach to see uh, which way that guy was going to go around the tank because I didn't want to just guess and play ring around the rosy around the tank with him if I, if I chose the wrong way because obviously this is a pretty uh, fast paced map. And if you're messing around like that and not paying attention to your other surroundings, um, you're most likely to get a death. So I'm actually using a 9 sensitivity here, and I think a higher sensitivity does help out a lot if you're going to play an aggressive playstyle like this because it allows you to check all your corners. And as you can see, I, I really subtly check all the different ways that my enemies can come at me. It's not like I'm playing recklessly and not being aware of my surroundings. I'm actually extremely aware of my surroundings, and I just check... Um, check my corners really quickly so that it doesn't take me out of the game to to look in that direction where the enemies might be coming from and that's not to say that a lower sensitivity doesn't have its place it actually uh, lower sensitivities are actually very useful some people actually switch between sensitivities for different uh, for different tasks I actually uh, basically play one playstyle throughout um, like every day I basically play one playstyle so there's no there's no need for me really to change my sensitivity up but um there's a time and place for each sensitivity and if you want to play different playstyles there is ideal sensitivities and I will talk about that more in my quick scoping tutorial which should be out by now but it actually still isn't I promise I will get to it but anyways thanks for watching guys this has been a 30 and 2 free for all on dome with a sniper rifle and a lot of help from air support so if you enjoyed please leave a like and if you haven't already please subscribe thanks for watching guys and see you next time peace